Hey everybody, hope you're on today. It's another Sunday more ranked matches. Uh, we're just rerunning really this deck game. We didn't really get much to play of it last week. So we're just going to rerun the deck and see how things go. Uh, if you want to put the deck, the deck profile and stuff, uh, last week's episode you covered it, including any changes, but I'll just rerun it again. Uh, more copies of Red River Dragoon. Bring four copies of the Dragon or Latifa. Uh, full place that return of Thunderbolt. A few more, I think, Steph Sites and a little Thunderstorm Dragoon. And I'm pretty sure. Oh, and uh, a singular copy of Stealth Dragon for Burning Soul. That's it. Nothing really much cha uh, changed, but we want to full detail on the changes in the deck. And next week is wise. Last week's video. So I'll see you in the mat, right, matches. Right, so we're trying this again. Uh, you see me with six minutes straight, that's because I kept getting disconnects, that's why we're playing this again. Uh, we're Platinum 2, so we're half, we're, oh, we're getting close to the Master Rank, which is good. And I'm recording this Thursday night at about quarter past six. Let's just see how, if we can get it. And uh, keep the games going. If not, may I'll try another one. Oh. So I'll see you when we actually get a match. Oh, here we go. Got a match. But yeah, uh, we may be close, but I can't afford to make this place itself. Let's just go. I was worried we weren't going to match this, but we got one, so hey. Uh, just these two. And our hands are actually looking pretty good. Let's. Okay, uh, our first Phoenix is definitely being discarded. Well, Rising Phoenix, Rising Phoenix. Alrighty. There's a car, there was a car I remember called Reverse Phoenix. I think I was like an Angel Fighter clown. Angel Fighter card. It just DC disconnected me. Ah, oh, let's try again. Yeah, it disconnected me. So yeah. Oh, we got the game again. Alright. Let's... Reverse Aura Phoenix. That's the card I'm thinking of recently. Reverse Aura Phoenix. From Steel Strike and Unleash. What was Angel Fighter? Oh, shoot. Ah! Do I just scar eternal from the bolt nine? Baroa. Potentially. Oh, I didn't like the fact that I drew two heals. No, we'll discard the Red River. We'll probably drop the refer the Thunderbolt next turn. It is Roa. Alright. Oh. They also discard. Which first of the. It should they pick that? They're always gonna get a token, by the way. Alright. <laughs> We're gonna have to take these. Hope for a trigger here. Hope they don't get one though. That sucks. 
Here's the worst thing. That draft site isn't going to... Draft site doesn't... Because that many tokens will be spawned, draft site just isn't as helpful. Right? Yeah, we're gonna have to take this one as well. Our hunt isn't exactly good for it. Alright, we would love that Reverend Dragon. We do get the next. We do get our copy of Eternal Thunderbolt, so. You stop for this card. Next turn. And look at my hand. Yeah. We can maybe cut down the. The first thing Phoenix is a good. Hmm. The Scarb. Not the first thing. Rising Phoenix. So, discard Rising Phoenix, go Vermillion, Vermillion Effect, also have Drift Scythe on the ready, Eternal Thunderbolt, turn one, on this turn two. Swing in the... the swing, cut them down, so these will roll up, might not... And dress that to pop another. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah, I don't recognize that card. Well, I don't get to see it. <laughs> okay, so we're only sticking to free. We're only taking free damage this turn. Also, we can use rising things to five. So, all right. Oh, another fun wall to Han. So we can use the ones in Han to keep keep their fact cycle. Got it. This is gonna be good. I'm gonna grab the Vermillion because I think it's a bit of a better card. So call Dread Scythe. Thankfully, you do not require. A payment. We'll activate a fact. Then we'll move into the bottle. Alright. So I think the more tokens we pop out, the batter is going to be in the long run. So crit here, power here. You pay two, right? Right, so yeah, those tokens are gone. And the damage is dealt. Oh, right. We will actually act. No. We're gonna hold off beans as facts for now. Oh, we do have to discard to pay the cost, don't we? Oh, this will actually force Leo Horn to actually kind of force things out. Okay, no, this is a better. This is a good play. We'll keep the Phoenix out of effect for now. 35k. So this puts them at 5 damage. So, depending on where. So, if this is Rosin, I think we're in a strong spot. If this is Slayerhorn, it might not be Ozbot, but we can work with it. It's Slayer Horn, okay. Nev. So that's the turn of Astral card, Color Rear Guard, or the Scarlet. 
So now you're just going to spawn a bunch of tokens. Aren't they? Which means the lair horn. It's probably telling me that they don't. Oh, there's that card. Oh, Lester Impact Dragon. That's what it was. Cool. Is this getting set from the back row? Junior Guard, you hear more, give more or less regards. Just in power. And this card stopped by your ability by Gruff or Leon Horn. Supposed to, okay. I'm going to play this one up safe. Okay. So this is going to, that's going to be... Okay, yep. So this swing is going to be... 40k... 2 crit. I'm fine with that. Oh no, it's actually going to get a power grace. It's actually going to be a bit higher. This is 45k. I could block, but I'll take it. Because we are living this turn, which means I can be able to do dragons real quick. Can I want a dot? That's not as important. Oh, so cool. Let me just it. I can Oh, yeah, I'll... No, I'll use the Thunderbolt in drop. So, let's switch my deck. Now, I do want to use my best, so... Out of range, use Carvelli, play normal six half-pack cards. Like, choose one card. That's a unit. Oh, okay. Actually, don't pay. I think we just... I forgot the... I forgot the pay. Yeah, I may have just for this game. I was so focused on doing the thing, I forgot to kind of do the less, the payment to deal with these two. That, that's a mistake on my end. I, I punted this. I have punted this. I so punted this one. I guess then we just push for game. It's just to get rid of- Oh, right, yeah, that's not Binds! Yeah, I- I punted this. Well, you have another effect, don't you? Get 5k- Yep. So that would've been an extra 10k. I really punted this one. If I live this turn, we can bounce back. No Persona Ride. Ah. They might have a... They have a...
So, uh, punted this game pretty much in the space. Because what, that's... 25. Forty. That's forty-eight this turn. I yeah, I definitely punted this one. Yep. So what? Tick damage. Hope for something off the top. Hope a trigger off the top. That retires, isn't it? She's gonna push trigger attack. Yep. And they're getting... Okay. You just restand two units. Yep. Oh god, yeah. I, I really punted this game. It's going to swing with these two first. That's the problem thing. A trigger would help me a little. This is not a crit. I'm gonna have to hope there's no crit on top off the top. I have to hope there's no crit off the top. I can survive. That's not bad. Okay. So this is 60k. This is 45. No, that's bigger. I think... Oh, they ran out of time! Huh? We just froze. I just caught. Uh, what's going on here? I don't know what happened. Uh, <laughs> the wind doesn't feel right. Because it looked like they were on time, which made them end their turn. But of course, I misplayed, so I might have had a better chance. I don't know. Because they probably been last card in hand. I don't know what happened there. I definitely knew I misplayed. And apparently just got really lucky. Right, let's just see if we can get a game will go from there. Alright, yeah, I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon we get our game. Hey, there we go. Took a while. Finally got a match. Don't know how long it took, but we... I wasn't... I was checking ourselves out I was with, but we got... We finally got our match. Alright. I'm gonna try my best and not misplay. Oh, watch it, Grihan. This is Chrono Jazz, so I would. Alright. Let's see if we can repressure this Chrono Jazz then. 
a probably really good idea to maybe stop the bleeding a little bit. Here comes the crest. So, cards, hard cards. Oh wow. Sure. Damage check. Now, if they happen to get a trigger off this, sure. But I think they're fine. No trigger. Okay, so we do have a turn here. Uh, yeah, we'll discard this. Search for Eternal Thunderbolt. All for copies are in the deck. We're chilling. We're like in no major rush. Oh, is that a... Oh, we have two red rivers. Right. Oh, they just put that back. Sure. I'll take. Like, two damage here is not that bad. <laughs> Pretty good trigger. The main question is how much do I want to next? We only have one Thunderbolt right now. This works. Okay, I have a turn. I've got a turn order here. That actually doesn't. That actually changes a lot, actually. Our top card it top cards. Grab a Dread Scythe, actually. Because then we can use Dread Scythe later. We need Soul Blast. So we'll, kind of, we'll play here this night. Activate Effect. We'll Soul Blast uh, this Draco Kid. Looking at the top cards. That's actually the perfect card. Funny enough. That is the perfect card to play this turn. Okay. Hello for first Phoenix. Use this effect, uh, discarding... Yeah, we'll discard the Red River in hand. Good nerve damage. Sanctus is out of the back. Good no. Vanguard 
We will do the slow charge. Wait, why did the power- Oh, is it Grave Free? Yeah, it's Grave Free. That's fine. Actually, next turn we can just... Oh, next turn we're just gonna go off. Like, next turn we're just gonna clear the board. We actually will be taking the damage. And these, one of these are gonna get bombed back, which is fine. We can recover. They're gonna go in the Fate Rider Dragon. As I predicted. And they're gonna draw a card. They're gonna probably use Chrono Jets effect, protein Red River at the bottom of the deck. Because. Or put the other card, which was not doing anything. Did they really just kind of. Wow. Okay, so what's the plan? This is gonna to go to this great zero, probably. Yeah. So what? That's gonna get 2k power. That's gonna get big. Sure. That's fine. Mm, that's fine. So free check, so. I think we'll, f we'll probably swing with this next, wouldn't it? Depends if I if want to if I respect it or not. Here's the thing. Okay, so that's swing for twenty six. We can guard. Free checks. Uh, other repeat right nine. Free tracks, free triggers, four damage. The odds of that are low. The other thing that's going through my mind, and this is what I'm actually thinking of here, is the over trigger is still in deck, isn't it? And that's for the rest of the fight. I don't. It, it's fine. They will, they will just not get enough to kill me. Well, I'm living this turn. You know that far. So we're only at four damage here. Damage <laughs> check. Critical trigger. So we can block this easy. Oh, that goes in the soul. Um, okay. Because at the end of your turn, if you have a great four great vanguard, put this card in soul drop. So, oh, that. I'll tick the. Wait. Yeah, we'll take it. I'll try it for trigger. It just works! So... Oh, that... Yeah, okay, cool. Call Dread Scythe. Oh! Cool. No spark you mean about this, these copies? And so blast this. Play it. Play it out. Good. 
Okay. Uh, give it to this column. Power, power. Just take it to the front line. Just, just take it to the front line. I think the crash trigger is going to stay at card and hand here. They will be put to 5 damage. Won't use the phoenixes. Yeah, I think the crit trigger is the worst card to hop in the hand right now. You're the draw, right? The yeah. We are not using dress high fear. We won't use that though. Fifty three K. You're gonna have to guard this. Slight drawback to Chrono Jet is if we just keep if we can throw the pressure fire quickly, they kind. So with one Chrono Jet, what can they do? Well, they can strike in the Chrono Jet. So we'll be able to block this easy. The main worry. Alright, I have placed a bomb today. Oh yeah, right, that was my dress I They're probably gonna swing the Chrono Jet. Do I? I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Considering this time around, they can't Chrono Jet. Big power Chrono Jet. Shoot the card. It's fine. So this is plus 10k, that makes it one pass. That's two pass. That's free pass. Or an over trigger. I think we'll play this safe. If they get an over trigger, I'm screwed. That's I'm not gonna trigger quite that one. Oh, it's the other one? Cause Chrono Jap prevents Wait, they put it on the Ah Uh oh. That's a not a Yume, is it? That's auto. That's not a Yume. That's not Yume. That's not a Yume effect. It's a it's a mandatory, isn't it? 
Miss Car Actually, is it? When you soon attacks my guard, this unit. Oh, okay. Well, I'll see soon. We'll see now. Wait, is it all of my? Is it a you? It's not a you may. Is it be because it's not a cost? That's at the end of the bottle. I think we could. I'll discard you. All right. I want to say this night. Does this go back to the deck then? Because it's used to the fact. Because the overture, it's a. M oh no! I think I messed this up. I think I fenced this up. I should not have discarded that tail trigger. Oh, I actually have just straight up lost here. Never mind. Oh, sh. Yep, I've lost. I've lost. This one I didn't. I don't know what. I don't know what I could have did better there. <laughs> I really don't know what I could have. Oh yeah, I suppose yeah, drawing that trigger or that save the game. Oh well, well we got a good few games this time around. I think I'll call this one. Right, hope it's a good day, this week. Uh, try to, we'll try a different deck next week. Uh, I don't know whether we could have done anything better that game. Because if I had to pay guard early, later. No, because I knew we trigger would have won the current next age. No, I think it was nothing. Alright, I'll see you next time. Bye.